Uh, we had a child by the name of Nathan. He was enrolled sometime four years ago in my centre. Since day one, he actually had limited conversation skills. And until this year, the transformation really took us by surprise when we injected Playmaker in his K2 classroom. We have a beautiful curriculum that we've piloted all over the world and actually Singapore is leading the way and I wish the U.S. would follow in a nationwide curriculum for early childhood on robotics. We have always been very interested in the field of preschool education and we know it's a huge area for technology infusion but it is not so simple because in order to introduce technology to any level it needs to be age appropriate and it needs to be developmentally appropriate. So we decided that uh, we need to look beyond the screen-based approach and see uh, whether there are any innovative solutions out there. When the centre was nominated, uh, we were like grasping in with excitement and say this is what we wanted to, to integrate into our central curriculum. The first tech toys that we introduced to the ENCA class, which are ages 3 to 4 years old, was the B-Bot. And then when we show the B-Bot to them, they are really, really very excited about playing with it. With so much focus on technology and Smart Nation focus, we at the preschool level are always looking for many avenues to integrate technology in our curriculum. This year, we have actually integrated Playmaker into the learning corners for every classroom. And skills such as problem solving, critical thinking, sequencing, and even communicating together with their peers and teachers have extended vastly in the classroom context. We felt that there should be more opportunities for children to be engaged in technology that is not very high on um, being on the screen all the time. The centres offered um, technology activities through the provision of um, computer lessons. So we were fortunate uh, to have Infocom Media Development Authority uh, invited us on this uh, project that they were doing. Initially, when it was first introduced to the teachers and the centre principals, they were a bit concerned because they knew that these technologically uh, enabled resources were not um, something that uh, they are so familiar with. So, but we assured them that there can be um, room for children to explore. We got the teachers together in a session and we introduced the resources to them and we discussed and brainstormed how we can implement it into our curriculum without having to make any changes. For example, they invited parents uh, to come and, and see what their children have been doing with the Playmaker and what some of the centres did was the children programmed the Playmaker, specifically the Kibo, and they used the Kibo to invite parents in. They performed a lion dance through the Kibo, so the centres actually use it beyond the classroom. We were pleasantly surprised that it boosted the teachers' confidence in using these technology-enabled toys. Uh, what surprises us was that the centre leaders themselves found that the teachers' creativity and enthusiasm in their lessons was a notch higher than what they were before. And we found such miracle was happening, the enthusiasm, the learning, the extensions that the teachers were driving into the children was just amazing. This is a very classic uh, case where pedagogy leads technology to create a good learning outcomes and in the process it benefits the kids and that's why we think the Playmaker is going to make a huge impact in Singapore and hopefully around the world. <laughs>